that work. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. YouTube. Hello everybody. So uh, I made a video. What? Yeah, I know buddy. You gotta wait a minute. About food. And um, why Monsanto and what is this dramatic push to create buttloads of food? You know, are we running out? Are we having a problem with it? Or you just want to make a bunch of money and, and push this nasty poison onto people? There we go. Right? So Anyway, let's move on. In it, I said that uh, the human condition, you know, people would, uh, if there's a problem with the food infrastructure, food production infrastructure, we should be told so we can help deal with it on out here. And the human condition would be, you know, be like when the party's over or, you know, when it's over, it's like, well, okay, you get the keys and you're going home. You know, so they carry saying, party more, party more, party more, right? They'll just realize, and, yeah, okay, that's it for that. I'm trying my new angle here. There we go. There we go. Anyway, this is where I'm coming from, and this goes with a prepper video, or prepper opinion, as it were, right, as to the human condition. Um, if the world crumbled and crushed, economic collapse or whatever happens, food, you know, la di da blah, 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 and you're going to have all these groups and crews and people and folks, you know, marauding all over the place. Um, I'm of a mind that I don't think that's going to go on as much as people may think due to the fact that in the, in the human condition that I have observed, uh, humans are inherently lazy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm guilty, I, you know, because I, I won't do any more, really. I, sometimes, most times, I'll do more than what, you know, put to me. But if it's not, you know, who really does, you know, unless, except for these energetic people. You have them, and they're, you know, everybody knows the two or three. But, I mean, you got to figure, in about the first six months of the year, or a year, all these people that think they're going to, you know, get on cars and horses and do the Mad Max thing and maraud people and get them and kill them and take their food and all that, you know. I don't know if that's going to last that long, you know, because, I mean, that's a big pain in the ass. <laughs> you know, I mean, hey, everybody, let's go, let's get in our vehicles and our bikes and cars and we'll go maraud the village next door. Everybody, yeah, yeah no. You know, they're not going to be that interested. It's just you got to get in your car, risk getting killed, and get some gas. Then, you know, if I get wounded, and like, ah, dude, I don't know, man. That seems like a lot, you know, to go out and raid the village. <laughs> right? You know, they'll just poop out. And they'll figure out, well, I'm growing some out there now, and I got something going on. I really don't need to go out and maraud just because you want to go out and kill somebody and kick somebody's ass and take the women and all that, you know. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I'm just not that, you know, I, I'm not that jazzed about it. And, um, uh, another, you know, it's, I just don't think, you know, humans like their baths and showers, and they're not going to be some filthy desert dwellers like Genghis Khan and all that back in the day. There may be, but, uh, you know, I don't think that's going to really occur a lot. To be honest with you, because due to the human condition of inherent laziness, that they just, if they don't really got to get up and go, they're not going to do it, right? And another thing, um, that's my deal. And we'll finish that off and I'll go to my next thought because I jump thoughts real bad. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. I just, because humans, you know, if they ain't really got to do it, they're not going to go and do it. Plus the fact, uh, you'll weed them out, these people, because let's go maraud the farms, we'll kill everybody, and we'll steal the women and take their kids and all that, and all this, and, uh, and take all their food. They'll quickly, quickly, quickly realize that. 
Oh, we killed the farmers. Who are they going to raid next year? It's, you know, are they going to farm themselves? Well, no, and then they'll die. They'll start it. They'll either get with the farming or and ranching all that, or die because they'll run out of people to go out and maraud. And then when they run out of people to maraud, the next year it's going to be mighty lean. They'll die off, and some will survive, without a question, right? And then they'll come up and they'll be more peaceable, and they won't be raiding, they won't be killing, and all that stuff. And then uh, we'll rise up again, and who knows where we'll be. Another thing is, uh, after a while, when they have a whole buttload of kids in the village and all that, they're going to have to be friends with the next village to where, you know, hey, I got my boy here. If you got a girl, we need to marry these guys off. You got to get him out of my house. He's got to go make his own way of it. Cause I just ain't doing it. And you got to have peace and tranquility, some, you know, mostly, to in order for that to occur. Because if I'm mad, I ain't going to put my kid over in your village. <laughs> you know? I mean, no. Right? And if you come over and maraud and kill, rape, pillage, and burn, well, my kid's going to kill your ass in the night. I just taught them that way. <laughs> you know? If they get me and they take you, cut them. Lead them real quiet. And leave them there. <laughs> and that's the way they think. So I think, you know, all those people think, oh, there's going to be two, three years, and there's going to be mayhem and chaos and... Nah. For a human to keep up mayhem and chaos? Hey, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> mayhem and chaos is fun, you know, but I don't know. There are those, you know, you got the Middle East and all that. They've kept mayhem and chaos, mayhem and chaos, up for a long time. But then they've just nitpicked at each other, and they've always had stuff, you know, to do it with. They've taught the kids to hate, but sooner or later... Us, I don't think so. I really don't think, you know, because chaos and mayhem is really hard to keep up. So, I think the human condition will settle us down to where, you know, I'm going to build a shower, take a bath, and I'll just go out and farm. I ain't going over there. They're badass anyway by now. I'm just not going to do it. Maybe a year, maybe into a second year, and then where all the, you know, the assholes die off, kill us, you know, sooner or later somebody's gonna, they're gonna get whittled down to where there just ain't enough guys and they're still gonna go out and do it and then they're gonna get someone with revenge or saying we got to eliminate these people because they're assholes and go and bomb them down and take care of them without question because they had the farm, they had the stuff to where they could stay healthy. The marauders and the takers and the, you know, the killer, killer rapist, pillager burners they're just going to get weeded out pretty deep, pretty dang quick, right? And the laziness and the, the regular old, I just want to sit in my house and smoke some weed. <laughs> you know, I'm going over there. It just ain't worth it to me. They can come over here, you know, and we'll have a drink, you know, brew up some beer. Otherwise, I ain't, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know if I'm wrong, because now that I think about it, you know, how many periods of, Mayhem and chaos as opposed to the periods of peace and tranquility. There's mayhem and chaos d things and then you have a long period and then oh, mayhem and chaos and then long periods of time. Let me know. I think man will get lazy and say, I, I you know, this ain't fun anymore. <laughs> and uh, they'll poop out just out of, I'm tired. Let me know. What are your thoughts? Give it to me straight. And uh, let's have this out. Keep it civil. On my page, everyone's welcome. I block no one. And uh, if you have an issue with one or the other, be cool. All right. Live by your wits, not by your worries. Peace. Bye.